Hello everyone, I'm Mark from Listen Up. And I'm Scotty G. If you are a home theater enthusiast, you are gonna love what we have today. That's right, we're gonna do a rundown of the brand new Marantz AV10 15.4 surround sound preamp processor and their new Amp 10 16 channel amplifier. This amplifier has 200 watts a channel. It's amazing. That's a lot of channels. It's definitely not lacking. Total surround sound immersion of rich, legendary, warm Morant sound. And if you're into home theater, as Morant likes to say, it's the ultimate way to hear what you're seeing. Scotty, Marantz is an audio icon founded in New York in the 1950s. Their components are known for having a rich, warm, enveloping sound. I've heard it described before by someone as like getting a nice warm hug that just envelops you in the music. That's right. It's layered uh, with a lot of depth and detail. It's not fatiguing like some audio components that really begin to hurt your ears after long listening sessions. It's rich and immersive, which is why these separates would make such a great solution for a home theater setup. All right, let's talk about the AV-10. When I first took a look at the spec sheet on this, I was pretty awestruck. I mean, this is a pretty intense AV preamp. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. It's definitely incredible. You know, the AV-10, preamp has 15.4 channels of preamp output. This can be used to drive any number of surround sound configurations, you know, uh, seven surround speakers, multiple ceiling speakers. You can even drive four subs from the AV-10. Additionally, there are uh, multi-zone preamp outputs that you can use to drive speakers around the house has two main HDMI outputs, as well as a second zone HDMI output to drive a TV like in the bar or other area. What type of multi-channel support? Yeah, you know, when you're talking Dolby Atmos, this thing definitely goes to the limit. So it'll support a 9.6.4 type of configuration, or you can go with an 11.4.4 to get really a, a rich and immersive experience. Um, it also uses Dolby Surround Up Mixer so that you can take non-encoded legacy content and distribute it across all those speakers as well. Um, and if you don't have ceiling speakers, the AV-10 features Dolby Atmos height virtualization so that you can get the effect of a ceiling speaker from listener level surround speakers. What about DTS-X and IMAX enhanced? Totally covered, man. The, the AV-10 has full support for DTS-X as well as DTS Virtual, which again gives you that over-the-head sensation from normal surround sound speakers. IMAX Enhanced all the way also has support for Oral 3D. Okay, what about 8K? Got it covered there as well. The AV-10 has seven HDMI inputs all of which support 8K 60 hertz or 4K 120 hertz. Additionally, the AV-10 has support for 444 color, Dolby Vision, HLG, and HDR10. The video processor inside the AV-10 can even upscale native content up to 8K resolution. Okay, with the sound, the AV-10 has room correction capability too, right? Yep, this thing comes out of the box loaded with Odyssey Multi-EQ, which analyzes each channel's output and matches it to the acoustics of the room. Staying on sound, I noticed a host of inputs on the AV-10, including a turntable input and a range of digital inputs. Yeah, you can run a, a lot of sources natively for music and the streaming capability is huge. So you would just connect it via Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi, right? Yep. Okay, so then you can connect to the AV-10 with the Marantz Heos app and control your main listening or viewing space and then any other additional zone you might have, right? Yeah, the Heos app allows you to control everything 
including the built-in streamer. You know, that streamer gives you access to high-res music services, internet radio, and as you mentioned, you know, control from, uh, from other zones. The capability of the AV-10 is just immense, but you're going to need a pretty capable amplifier to work with it. Right, which Marantz has in the Companion Amp-10. The Amp-10 is a reference-grade, 16-channel, home theater amplifier with 200 watts per channel into 8 ohms and 400 watts into 4 ohms. When paired with the AV-10, you are at elite level home theater status. And it's beautiful too, with the center mounted analog meter, solid steel and aluminum casework and knobs, textured front panel with dimmable side lights on either side. Okay, let's talk about class of power. Yeah, it's Class D amplification, utilizing Marantz's HDAM technology. So super efficient Class D, but not overly analytical or clinical. Still imparting all the warmth and richness Marantz amps are known for, and very much able to drive demanding speakers, bringing out tons of detail and lifelike dynamics. So it defies the logic that you can't have high power and high channel output together in one unit. It does, and another cool thing is you can drive each channel amazingly well in a traditional manner, but then you can buy amp to isolate frequency bands and select speakers for even more performance, or you can switch to BTL mode to produce 400 watts per channel into eight ohms for ultra high output to power a really demanding speaker. So there's a lot of different ways to use all the channels, from a 15 plus channel home theater setup to by amping and getting more performance out of a smaller speaker configuration or bridging and taking all that power 400 watts per channel into a really demanding two channel speaker setup. Yeah, man, you can use this in so many ways. Okay, that includes our rundown of the new Marantz AV-10 and the Amp-10. Together, kind of a super home theater system. It really is. If you're interested in learning more about the AV-10 or the Amp-10, there's a link in the description or right here in the video. You can also go to listenup.com or visit any one of our showrooms. Thanks for watching. Bye.